Okay, in this lesson right here, what we're going to do, and it's a very quick lesson, is take a look at how we can take the animation that Zach has created on the alien and bring it back over into the world of Maya. Zach, take it away. All right, this is actually going to be very fast. In fact, the first couple of times I did it, it was too easy for me to deal with. So I'm going to rewind my animation real quick. We'll just uh, take a quick second, because it only eats up a couple seconds, to show you what we got. This is what we're going to be sending back to our, mo our model in Maya. What we need to do is we need to plot this animation out and actually make the animation part of our skeleton. Right now, the animation only exists on our control rig. So we're going to go to Edit and hit Plot Character. It's going to ask Plot Animation from Control Rig to the skeleton, since the skeletons are our only other option. We'll click it. It's going to give us a few options here. Uh, I'm not really going to go over them in any kind of great detail. We can plot all the animation takes or just plot the you know on the frame that we're on. We can uh, pl change our plot rate. Well, right now we're going to stick with 30 frames a second. And there are several filters you can apply in case when you're animating with your control rig you run into like some uh, rotation problems. We're just going to leave it at default and click plot. It'll take Motion Builder a few seconds to think about that. And all of a sudden our control rig goes away. There is no more control rig. The animation that, we have, uh, that we've been working on is now officially part of his skeleton. So this is what you do basically when everything is pretty much done and you're ready to, to take this animation outside of, uh, of Motion Builder and put it back into your 3D package. All right, so now it's time to export. All right, so we're going to go under File and hit Export. We're going to select uh, Kidaro's Animation Only Film Box Format. And uh, I'll call this, uh, let's see, Zach Animation to Maya is already in there, so we'll go ahead and save that. We'll click Export, Authorize and Overwrite. And give it a second to just kind of add all that out. That's very fast. We'll just select back over here to Maya. Okay, so here we are with our character back in there. And the character has, again, just basic skeleton and basic skinning on it. So go ahead and import that in. All right, so we're going to File and Import. Zach Animation to Maya is already here. We'll just hit Import. Uh, basically, we got some of the same options we had before. We're just going to leave everything at default and go forward. Give Maya a second to think. And Look boom. Look at that. Just like we saw him over in Motion Builder. And if we hit play. That's kind of creepy. Yeah, and you know, it's times like this you really like that. Uh, yeah, you don't. You yeah, don't sorry, you don't have real time here now. Yeah, but. real time is gone. This is when you really like that real-time animation over in Motion Builder. And there you are. Our animation has been uh, taken right out of Motion Builder, right back into Maya. Actually, it's very, very easy, very quick. Okay, excellent. Well, that actually does it for this lesson right here. So thanks a lot. Thank you.